Recombining all the monotheist scriptures allows one a better comprehension of the existence and will of the one true God, and thus of the natural laws that govern the causes of any and all natural events. This process can be defined as the true act of magic. Because the monotheist scriptures are confusing, there is no wrong interpretation of them. However, just as there can be no wrong interpretation of the scriptures, so too can there be no right interpretation of the scriptures. This applies in whole and part. The final moral of studying the recombination of all monotheist scriptures is that it is the will of the divided religions for one to do so, and that for better comprehension of natural laws, one does not only not need to study the scriptures in only one prescribed method of interpretation, but does not even need to study them at all. The awakening from dogmatic hypnosis to one of the three monotheist Western religions is accomplished through realizing that God's will manifest as natural laws occurs regardless of one's interpretation of the monotheist scriptures, or even one's own interpretation of the monotheist God. That is why religion forbids magic. Religious law is thus nothing but the attempt by humans to enforce prohibition over one's comprehension of universal natural laws. While it is possible for God to set laws for man, it is impossible for humans to make demands on God. The three religions interceding as intermediaries to affect the will of anyone over the will of God are practicing mass hypnosis using only partial truths.